Hello everyone, this is Stevio, and we're doing a little something different today. Today, we're gonna go on a farm tour. I thought, you know, what better way to show all the local farmers around here? So we're gonna go on a very unique area. Here in Wisconsin, and holy cow is this ground. We got some hilly, hilly ground around here. And we got some, a lot of farm equipment going here. Ooh, that was close. Did you see that? Whoa. This guy, man, he just bare, he just needled that thing through. Whoa, 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 that was close. He is going right by these high line poles. Looks like he's in a magnum with a cultivator on the back here, probably. Yep. So our, our farm is right here. So uh, this guy, is he's kind of a unique farmer. He, uh, he's got some very unique harvesters I think you guys might like. He, he is a little, uh, you know, he, he likes the old equipment. Well, some of his equipment is pretty old. Let's just say he, uh, he definitely takes care of his equipment. Uh, hopefully it's all right. Yep. I brought the power ram today. Kind of like the power ram. Maybe I went a little bit overboard. You guys will have to let me know. Yep. Kind of liking the rims and everything. This is Farmer Doug. Doug, uh, he owns uh, a little bit of ground here. He owns some beef cattle. He owns some dairy cattle. Uh, he, he owns a lot of uh, hilly ground. Uh, this ground used to be pasture. Uh, it's very rich in everything, so he decided to uh, start harvesting or uh, start planting it with corn and everything. I'm pretty impressed by it. I guess first, you know, I was saying how much he took care of his equipment because he has all this old equipment. John Deere's a little wore down there. We'll get to that later. First, we got to feed his some of his cattle here. So this is his newest tractor here. Kind of liking this. So we are gonna take this over. Feed these uh, ballin' heifers over here. Open the gate there. Make sure we can not scratch up his uh, blue feed wagon here. Watch out, Betsy, I'm coming this way. There we go, shut that. Where is the feed? Thought it was in here. Uh, is it in here? Oh, there we go. I don't know if I can feed into that or not. It's more, it looks like a more of a bale type feeder. That is his bale feeder. Apparently, I have to go into his barn Yep, that's what I get. Probably should ask Doug how I'm supposed to feed this first. That would have been the right thing to do, or the smart thing to do, I guess. You guys have to just go right in here. We won't cut across his grass here. Go by his Chevy park there. Ooh, can we make this corner? This is going to be tough right here. This is tough here. Ooh, wow. Oh, whoa, that, that's a tight fit right there. I know, that's what she said. All right, so now let's go check out this ground. This is, uh, let's just say this is very hilly ground. Let's go check it. All right, we got the Jeep here. Uh-oh, I can't even keep up with them. And you definitely need this Jeep to go up over here. Oh, man. This old CJ here just doesn't have it in it. Or at least not what that uh, UTV has. You go over here. Yeah, here. I think. Well, holy cow! Look at, look at him go. All right. I guess he's not too far ahead of me now. Now this is some high ground. Now look down. You can definitely see the whole entire neighborhood. Duggo says he uh, puts a little tree stand up there. You can see a deer walk up from like five miles away. I can uh, believe it. 
I mean, look at this. This Jeep, uh, I guess, really, you have to be standing here to believe it. But uh, let's just say you can barrel roll down this hill. I'm not saying that Doug did it or not, but I'm pretty sure you can barrel roll down this. I mean, look at all that. This is crazy that he farms this. This is some serious hills. He definitely has to contour this uh, ground here to prevent from erosion because uh, if you don't, all that water is gonna take out all of your topsoil real quick. And there Duggo goes again. I guess we're gonna race back here. Oh, come on. Come on, Jeep. You can do it. You can do it. I hope I don't kill myself here. Holy cow, look at this. This is crazy. This is some of the hilliest parts right here, which is why he puts it in grass. I can kind of tell. Oh my goodness, this is. Whoa! He just stopped there. He did that on purpose or something. I don't know what is wrong with him. Alright, so let's get back. We got a couple uh, special harvesters to show you guys. This building right here is full of some beautiful looking trucks here first thing we got to do start servicing our harvesters so we're going to get the old gmc uh top kick start filling up some of the tractors here it's got a service bed on back got uh fuel everything got everything you need if you look back there welder air compressor everything so this is one of his newest trucks Aero Max Ford here. Pretty good looking trucks compared to his other ones. I better stay between the lines there. We're gonna start here nice on the flat ground. Well, it looks flat to me at least. So we got all these trucks. He's got plenty of straight trucks. We got everything serviced up, filled up. We are finally ready to start heading to the field. We are going to be loading this grain bin right here. It's got his beautiful Farmo 806 right there. Look at them harvesters. First, I'm going to be doing a very unique, uh, let's just say, harvester. This is definitely a very unique harvester. So, it's one of the first times I've used a harvester like this. It's a little different, let's just say that definitely a little different we got a 1682 here and look we might need to put some air in this tire hmm. we're pulling it with a 4755 John Deere that's kind of beat up looks like a tiger kind of attacked the front of it maybe now this is definitely gonna be a little challenge here we got to hook up the header this is a going to be a little bit harder than let's say ma majority of harvesters when you're hooking them up definitely don't want to run over it got far enough over oh, yeah all right got far enough there backed up here now fold it out all right doesn't it kind of, it just looks like they took everything away, just kind of straight from the back right there. It does kind of look kind of weird when you see it like that. But uh, that's all the meats and potatoes of that harvester, I guess. We are ready to start this uh, humongous four-row harvester in the field. Hopefully I left myself enough room right here. I'm glad no farmers are running down the road like they were earlier. All right, fold it out. And let's turn on the PTO here. I'm starting to cut corn here. Got to make sure I'm not hitting the corn there. Oh, man. Not used to looking behind me. Cut corn. It's almost like you're chopping. Only uh, kind of unique uh, running with this harvester. This uh, 4755 is uh, screaming up this hill. Oh my goodness, this thing 
It's gonna make it up this hill. Come on, girl. Come on. You can do it. Oh, man. Whew. It's taking everything she has to get up this hill. Wow, is this some crazy terrain here. For corn, at least. Oh, man, I better put my seatbelt on. I'm, I'm getting a little wheezy here. It doesn't really seem like you're that far until you're in the cab. Holy cow, you feel like you're going to tip over at any time. Any time. We are kind of, what are we going, maybe four mile an hour here. And this tractor's a screaming. It takes a lot of horsepower to shut that corn. I don't know, this is definitely going to be a challenge. How are we exactly going to uh, empty this old girl here? Definitely gonna find that out. I don't know how far I'm really comfortable going. Once it starts getting really bad, we might have to just uh, back up. Sorry, Doug. I'm leaving corn here. Try not to drive on your uh, beans. Probably should have let him cut in here. I think he's still getting one of them old cases ready. Don't make any jokes. No, no. Case, don't be long in the shed. Oh my goodness. Do you see this stuff? Holy cow. This is uh, not normal. Let's just say that. Not normal whatsoever. I'm going to have to ask Doug. Does he have any bears around here? Because the front of this tractor is kind of questioning. All right, that thing just barely fits underneath that auger. Definitely a very unique way to harvest here. Oh man, I, it's going to take me forever to get around this field. This ground is getting awful. Am I close enough? I have nowhere. Oh wow, I'm not even close. I really have to get close to these trucks. Yeah, here we go. I am like, it seems like I'm rubbing the side of it there. This thing, it's very unique, very challenging. Let me tell you what, putting a cab on one of these was uh, a good idea. I can see why they did it right now. If the sieves and everything right here aren't completely level and the rotor, I don't know how much the rotor really matters or not, but if all this harvester isn't completely level, it means you're probably going to be leaving some grain in the field. Ooh, listen to her purr here. Kind of like I'm digging the interior of this thing. Definitely digging. Kind of like it. Kind of weird having the the stick shift, the gears, over here to the side. It's a 1670. I didn't even know Case made this thing. Can I fit here? I might pop one of his bales there. Just barely fit around. Yeah, I wasn't aware that Case even made. I, I thought they only made a 1660 and a 1680. It looks like my one harvester here is still kind of on the road. Oh uh, man, yeah, definitely have to get that off the road a little bit. Alright, turn this girl on. Now, this girl can uh, definitely take the hills. It's definitely very unique. Alright, uh, and it screams as you can hear it. You definitely want a wide stance when you have this type of uh, harvester. Well, at least you might feel a little bit better. We got an eight roll head here. It's kind of big for this harvester. That's why you kind of hear it a screaming. Might kind of bog down going up this uh, hill a little bit here. Yeah, definitely don't like this hill very well. Well, come on, you can do her. So you might notice something a little different. 
Yeah, we kind of had a problem with that hit. So we had to uh, upgrade, downgrade, I don't know how you would see this, to uh, New Holland head. Yeah, I, maybe it's upgrade, downgrade, whatever it is, it's working. Uh, this thing is handling this six row head way better. Look at her. She looking like she's on stilts. I am so glad I'm done with that steep stuff over there. It does feel kind of level in the cab here, but you do kind of get that uh, feeling like, you know, you're just about ready to slip off the edge. Not that great of a feeling, let's just say that. Man, did I make a mess of this field. Clean this all up here. Oh man, I don't think uh, Doug is going to let me back here. Definitely not making a great first impression. I'll just say that. Oh, we're kind of getting in that, uh, the slope again. Ooh, I can definitely see why he puts his waterway right here. Look how level that harvester is. Almost completely level. Oh no, I feel like I'm gonna slide down the hill. Oh no. Oh man. Oh, I don't even want to experience that. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time over here on the side of this mountain. Sliding down the hill. Oh no, oh no, oh no.